All right, we are about to finish off this entire area and then we'll immediately move on to Pink Eye's territory, which is the Dead Barons. Now, the Dead Barons, completely different aesthetic. Bunch of highways, interstates, and a whole lot of uh, building remnants. It's a very, very different kind of aesthetic. The sand is also like looks very Martian, for lack of a better word. And the enemies here are very, very, very tough. Although this, although I think there's only two top dogs, one with a gold uh, paint job and another with a camo paint job. I think he's somewhere around here, or somewhere at the edge of one of these things. So we're just going to upgrade the, the magnum opus as much as we can by doing everything we can everything left in these minus the minefields because I do those like I said before off screen I do them because they're very quiet and very uh, slow although it's the only time you get to use the dog so the first is that we're going to go here then move, make our way here then here and then to the top dog this is the guy with the chrome paint job, which is something I want because any because the uh, the car body that I have right now looks really good in chrome. Car body I have now is this death rattle, like a 1930s hot rod. Although it seems to have another, it seems to be it it looks like it was too short, so they just extended the back. Like right there. It's kind of ugly, to be honest. But I do like the rest of the car. How the engine is mostly exposed. I'm not sure how safe that is. But yeah. And I put the skull decal. Because why not? And uh, if you've noticed, I have upgraded the RAM... Let me just show you. I've upgraded the RAM to the, to the best it could be, the armor the best it could be, the V6 to it the best it could be, and the tire to the best it can be on oh, off-road. This one here I need a mission for. So this is like if you want to spec out your car for like absolute speed. I think the only, the only ones left are this uh, suspension and this shredder rims, the grinders. It's going to take a while because you can see how little I have left. I have 28 scrap left and this thing costs 1,800. I'm not sure if I can make that uh, uh, quickly. I know if I find enough scrapulences, which is like equivalent to 500 each. If I find, like, four, maybe, I hope, uh, and uh, all the, the scrap uh, I get from the camps in between, hopefully it'll be enough before going to the thing. If not, I'll just, I'll just do a lot more and then I'll get, I'll get it, I'll get through the, uh, the jaw. What else? Oh, yeah, Thunderpoon. Thunderpoon? Only the weapons, I think, are going to be a bit of an issue. And then there's this. Torch them all. Yeah, that's probably going to be a deep fryer mission, if I'm, if I'm correct. I really need to get this. I don't know why they locked it behind a, a mission late in game. Because it would have been so much more helpful. Mm, regardless.
You see how much that ram just does for you? Ah, you know what? Never mind. Oh. Well, that guy was shredded. Oh yeah. That's what I needed to do. Oh, what a coincidence! He's right here. I needed to get more Griffa stuff. I've also upgraded Max. He's got a four-barrel gun. And he's got the army-looking pauldron vest thing, and he's got the heavy gauntlets. So he's about as good as it's gonna be before the end of the game. Tell me about the ones you leave dead by the road. All the lives choked out. Not my choice to kill. You seem to enjoy it. Never. You don't fear killing. Because you think you control it. You tell yourself such. Blood is not on your hands, but on theirs. Perhaps it's not the killing you enjoy. But the moments of silence the fighting brings you. After I tried chasing down those people, I think he may be right. Mm. Main in fury mode. To use a melee weapon longer. Deliver more damage when uh, using a melee weapon. Okay. And then water. Should I use water? Or melee weapon. Do it for longer or make it do more damage? Hmm. Hmm. We can get it last longer. Uh, health is fully upgraded now, so. <laughs> I owe you for not shutting me down. I didn't know you and the dinky D was tight like that. <laughs> You know what, let me just see. I got the other body as well, this D roller. And I think it looks slightly better with the armor. Because at least it doesn't look like it's just like extending the thing again. Which I think look I know that's kind of the theme of the whole franchise, is like fusing cars together with other cars. But I don't think it really looks too good over here. I know it looks good in the front. It looks very cool in the front. But this also looks pretty cool. I think this is a Rolls Royce. I also like that silver, that chrome streak that it has. I'll use this for now. I don't know. I never expected to like this more than Death Rattle. 
Or it's only that back, that backside that's causing a problem. It doesn't look right to me. It, it's not supposed to look right, but it's, it just doesn't look right to me. I, I, I'm not going to explain it. Okay. Now let's see. I need in. There's gotta be a weakness. Is there... Are those just empty? Well, okay then. Okay. Get rid of that guy. That. And that's basically it. I think I have one more move I need to unlock, so that costs like 300. I think... Which should be easy enough to get. Yo, look at that. Isn't this game beautiful? That's just the toilet. Are those actually crows or is it just someone warning me?
a bit of a glitch where it, it just doesn't do exactly what it's supposed to. Where you do a fury ground execution, but it just doesn't happen, it just plays the animation. I just realized the level up system that Mad Max uses is pretty much exactly the same as Ghost of Tsushima's. It's it's pretty much based on your reputation or your fame. Like by the end, Jin is known as the Ghost of Tsushima. And by the end of this game, uh, Mad Max is the Road Warrior. Well, he's the Road Warrior again. Okay. I don't know what happened there, I got distracted by something. <laughs> Like my phone lit up all of a sudden. I don't know what that was. Two hundred ninety. Every time I see those insignias, I get rid of them because I don't know if I'm gonna remember where they are if I come back. Why is there just a thunder boon here? And maggots! Yay! Much through here. Uh, oh, the car. And? What's the point of this? There's another game I want to play called Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Because I. I have it on uh, PlayStation Plus, but I don't have the DLC for it. Most infidels fail to recognize the sacred parts of the great spiritual schemes <clears throat> scattered across the hills and valleys. <laughs> I recognize their scrap as only treasure. Yeah, it's like a very, very underrated. Uh, fantasy game and uh, I love fantasy above everything else sci-fi apocalypse whatever but I want to get the DLC for it and I want to actually physically own it Sniper. So these people actually have a sniper. Right 
Ouais 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 You said there was scrap. Is this it? Look. On the side? Jump bucket, I'm gonna need a better help than that. It's like, look! There! Scrap! Is this it? Yeah. Oh, I'm at 700 already. That's good scrap. Let's see what I can upgrade with that. I okay, got 709, 789, sorry. Shift chain finisher. Oh yeah, yeah, let, let's get every upgrade. That's every upgrade for max at this point. The only things left are these, which um, they, they don't, they don't cost anything at all, so I'm not gonna bother. And then there's Road Warrior, which... Okay. And there's that. And then there is another upgrade for, uh, for the jacket and the, the shotgun, but those only happen after you finish the game. So I'm not going to spoil it. I think you should already know what they are. You put two and two together. Semi-automatic uh, 50 caliber rifle. Huh. There's a war cry there, but I uh, can't exactly hit him. It's nothing else. Harpoon restricted. Okay. I just did that for fun. I go through there or? What's up here? What the hell's going on with that cryer? What? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but okay. I don't know what caused that, but that was hilarious. I like how their frenzy stops as soon as they see something like a gun. Oh! I kind of wish there were more environmental finishes 
sort of like uh, what, what's that one game? Sleeping Dogs. Because Sleeping Dogs really, really utilized its environment for its kills, for its combat. And a lot of them were just like absolutely brutal. Like for the record, one of them involved a saw, another one, a bunch of uh, uh, a sword, a sword, and uh, I'm pretty sure a fish. Not a swordfish, but a sword and a fish. I hope, I hope that wasn't the metal pipe noise that's so famous on the internet for making me lose my mind every time I hear it. It probably is, but I'm just gonna try and ignore it. I swear to god, it's just a noise. Just a noise. Why does it make me lose my mind? Now she's there as a military mother. Things were getting rough all over. Not just in the killing zones. Yeah, it's probably going to be you, buddy. Investing in that uh, fury skill, definitely worth it. Spent so much time in fury mode. <laughs> Yeah, that gun echoes. Oh, huh. found all the scrap. I found everything! Okay, that's the first. I found every bit of loot before I even finished the finish the the actual camp that's the first time that's happened
100 percent that's nice threat load gut gaseous territory and the next one i think i can see it from here and this one wherever that smoke is coming from yeah aligns with the map too the thing about this body is that it looks like it's very heavy and very defensive uh defensive i mean he's got like the weird cannons on the side too i think he called them cannons i know he called them cannons on a plane but oh what why did you throw it behind you the opposite direction I was coming from. <laughs> ah! And there it is. Oh, from what I remember, this is a massive camp. I mean, you can easily tell it's a massive camp, but. Keep the car safe. Yes, gladly. It is my sacred place. It's built into this formerly underwater cave. You're dead. Why would I want anything from you? <laughs> Climb down or go up? I'll just go up for now. It's right here. Six of those. Oh, that's going to be a chore to find. Look at the size of this place. Not a single camp that we have found has looked the same. Think about that. Just before. Look how long I was in fury mode for. It's insanely long.
these are just living quarters and everything. But still, not a single camp we've gone to has looked exactly the same. In fact, most of them have looked vastly different to each other, and there's so many. Top up. Hmm. That needs an explosion. There's another war cry down there. Get out of my way! Okay. Nothing? Except the zip line there, okay. I might be able to get that side uh, side grinder. Oh no, if I go into the zipline, it's going to put me on the other side. Oh. The things for the, the spikes on the wheels, which is like the last upgrade I can get before I need to move on to this realm. Do you have any idea how many war boys I've killed? Do you have any idea how many top dogs I've killed? What? How do you miss? What a finisher. <laughs> Jugular Canyon. And that the last camp and next is the top dog. He is going to die. Those big fans! The people of old use them to fly! Or some such nonsense. I do not believe it. How exactly would they fly? It's gonna get pretty heavy. Very heavy. This. Oh, no 
more long hurled lead for me. Oh god. Oh, luckily I have a lot of bullets. That should be everything. What did I grip on? A ladder? Oh. Okay. I'm wondering if you can hit the war cry from here. Oh, this uh, this windmill collapsed. Hang on. Little interesting landmark, but okay. I got 1,400 scrap, if another shipment of scrap comes in, I can get those grinders. I don't know how long it's been since the last shipment, but okay. <laughs> Timing! <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's get them now. <laughs> That timing, I had a feeling for some reason. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> now it's a death machine. I just get rid of this top dog. 
I'll get rid of and then I'll get rid of the uh, minefields off screen. It'll show you one or two. But after that, we're going straight into the dead barons. History relic. That looks like a riot. If you want to read this, you uh, can pause it. Safety is such a relative term. Does it even exist now? Yeah, I'm not sure. Depends, I guess. I guess the world, this world, safety depends if you're a friend or neutral or an enemy of Mad Max. What was his full name? M Max Rokotansky. Yeah. Rokotansky. That's such a 80s name. Was anyone expecting Fury Road to be as good as it was? Because... Because it was an amazing movie. Furiosa, the new movie that's coming out, also looks pretty good, although it looks a bit um, CGI heavy. I don't think they could have made um, a movie as insane as Mad Max during the pandemic. Although, it, it, although the pandemic is pretty much over by then. I'm not even sure. I'm much more... You don't come in! Not here! This is my place! You! You're just a friggity man! You're just dead moose! The deadly spectacle is now! I'll send you to Valhalla, shiny and chrome! That's a lot of damage. That was... That was, uh, ridiculously easy. Like, I didn't even bother to evade. I have so much health and defense. Chrome unlocked. The top dog is dead. Well... Now every top dog here in the lower regions are dead. Gone. Eliminated. 
And uh, once I finish uh, all the minefields here, I'll do off screen, like I said, like I've been saying all the time. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> the next video will be driving into the dead barrens. This whole new area will where the same thing that we've been doing will be done again. But I think it's a lot more sparse. Because I think they had less time to develop this region. Like, aesthetically, it's amazing, but it doesn't have much, because, I mean, I don't know what the, uh, how you say, development of the game went, because this feels a whole lot different to the rest down here, because everything feels finished here. Although there's a, but there's a lot of stuff that doesn't feel right here. I don't know what it was, but I need to look into it. And this region. The missions that take place here, not uh, while sparse, they're some of the most interesting. Because there are places over here that I never thought I'd go. Now, you see this big icon here? This is an airport. Spo uh, I'm not sure you can say that's spoilers, but... Because I don't know what actually happens here. I forgot. I know you have to find someone or something, like scrap or whatever. But this is like like a buzzard headquarters kind of thing. And it's it's a very large airport. There's wreckages of planes and everything there. This whole Dunes region just looks amazing. It's very plain, but it's it, this is something about it. Taking on the job will be the next uh, step. <laughs>